All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to replace a uh, LCD screen on a laptop. This particular model is an HP Pavilion DV6707, and somebody sat on the laptop and cracked the screen. So it's in bad need of a replacement screen. So we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, first, you've got to have your replacement screen, of course. Um, then it's best to have a set of precision screwdrivers. Um, most laptops just take small Phillips, but some laptops, some of the um, older compact ones, required some torque screws, and with the precision set, you'll have um, all the different sizes that you need with the different Phillips, flatheads, torques, uh, and such. So the first thing we need to do is remove the old screen. Uh, there's going to be screws around the perimeter. So we need to take those out. It's well worthwhile on most laptops uh, to do the screen replacement instead of getting a new laptop. Um, you can pick up laptop screens from many places around the internet um, for usually less than a hundred bucks and it's a whole lot cheaper than buying a new laptop. Um, I've got four of them now. Sometimes they will be behind little rubber plugs and just pop the little plug out to get to the screw behind it. Alright, now that we have the screws out, uh, the next thing we'll need to do is remove the bezel. And just kind of pull it a little bit and it will start coming loose. Just kind of work your way around the edges of the laptop. And there we have it. Now, you have the laptop screen. Now at the bottom, you usually are going to have this piece. This is the backlight inverter. This is the piece that provides the power to the fluorescence tubes that are inside. Um, so it will stay. We just want to replace the screen. So the first thing we're going to do now is remove our new screen. Get it ready to put in. Now on the sides of the existing screen, there's little uh, mounting arms. There's usually a couple of screws that hold the actual screen into these little hinge uh, assemblies. Of course, we're going to need to remove those. Now, these are very small screws. Just got to be careful and not to lose them because you, of course, will need to have them to put the screen back together again. Get a little bit different size. Phillips screw on some of these. Yeah, that will work better. It's really not all that uncommon to have two different sizes of screws in different parts of a laptop. That's why it's again best to have a multi screw kit. Now we're going to remove the screws off of the other side of the hinge. By this point you need to hold the hinge and the display panel um, so that it doesn't fall and break some of the cabling. The display is already broken in this case, but you don't want to break any of the 
uh, control cables that um, run the display. Okay, now I can turn it around and lay the display down. As you can see, this is the control cable. It's just taped to the back of the display and then taped to the little connector here. Just pull up the tape and grab the cable. On the ends there's going to be little squeeze connectors, so you need to squeeze those and gently pull the cable. Now the next thing is the backlight inverter we were talking about. It has one cable that unplugs from it. Here's the old panel. Here's our new panel. It's going to have, in most cases, a protective screen cover to protect it while it's being shipped. We'll just remove that. I want to lay it down flat, plug our backlight into it back into the inverter, plug our signal cable back in, secure the little piece of tape, what I'm doing here is I had accidentally unplugged the backlight inverter, so we're just going to plug it back in. Fold the screen back up into position. Get our first screw. sides. We can put the two screws in over there. Our last screw here. Now we have the panel is mounted and turn on the unit verify operation. And we have a display. So now at this point and go ahead and put the rest of the um, shield back onto the monitor and finish reassembling it. I want to just start at one corner, snap it around. back in.
and we'll just plug our little plugs back in place as we're going around. One screw here in the corner. And put the plug in its position. And there we are, one repaired laptop.